I'm gonna take you through a full day's worth of eating and prep for my strongman and trifecta. You ever have those days where you just wake up really early and you're ready to rock? That was kind of today. You won't need that rest. Chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. Time for meal number two. It's 11.30. I'm gonna have some potatoes, broccoli, and beef. Pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> and one of the things people don't do often enough is saute their frozen vegetables. Um, if you notice the way I prepped this, I got the pan hot with a little bit of coconut oil. And then I sauteed the broccoli till it was like kind of crispy, a little bit blackened. Then I added potatoes that I'd cooked in the air fryer, which are really, really delicious. And then I added the beef more to heat it up than anything. And if you cover what you're cooking, what you're sauteing, um, that'll help retain moisture. So the beef, the potatoes, everything's not dry. Here's the macro breakdown. So as you can see, it's uh, quite balanced. Post-lunch walk, little 10 minute jaunt through the neighborhood. The post-meal walks really, really helped me digest the food that I chew thoroughly and eat mindfully. <laughs> I have this little loop that I do that's uh, right at 10 minutes if I walk pretty brisk. Um, so if you're not already taking walks after you eat, I'd highly recommend it if you have the ability to. It's phenomenal. It's also a good time to get some cosmic rays. I'll probably have like a, a couple scoops of whey and some fruit to tie me over. Can I open the garage, Dad? Did you do the hard thing on the Jens, what did you make? Um, protein balls. All by yourself? Uh-huh. I put honey and peanut butter and yeah. protein powder and then cinnamon and oats. I need some carbs. Dad, what are carbs? They're a nutrient that our body needs to be strong. Uh. Time for the final meal of the day. This is gonna be 10 ounces of 93.7 ground beef. I'm gonna do sandwiches, so I'm gonna use four pieces of bread, and then I'm gonna have to do 14 ounces of potatoes with that broccoli mix. So it's gonna be a lot of food. I'm gonna take a walk after this and then go coach the speed camp tonight. It actually looks pretty good. I might need to switch to rice instead of potatoes pretty soon because of how voluminous. How do you say that? Hey Siri, how do you pronounce voluminous? <laughs> Not what I'm going for. Hey, like, let me spell this. Hold on. I gotta figure this out. <laughs> voluminous? How embarrassing. Voluminous? Voluminous? Voluminous. 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 V 
voluminous. Potatoes are voluminous. Great volume or bulk. Voluminous, 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 voluminous. Potatoes are voluminous. Rice might be easier just because it's a lot of carbs. I'm gonna eat, okay, jeez. Cook this beef on the Traeger. When I get lazy, I just take the square patties of ground beef and put them on a cooking sheet, flatten it all out, spatula, season it, stir it around a little bit, flatten it out, season it, throw it on the Traeger. Sometimes I'll smoke it for a long time, or sometimes I'll cook it a little bit faster. But it makes for easy uh, measuring. I think you guys saw when I had it weighed, it was like little like blocks of beef. So uh, basically I'm making a giant pan of beef. Um, not drinking water or milk while you eat, or whatever you drink, that can really help with digestion. Time for this beast. The only reason I put broccoli in here is because I'm filming this video. I want you to think I eat healthy. Hitting that post meal walk right now. Um, so today was 240 grams of protein, roughly 420 grams of carbs, and then 84 grams of fat. So I've been doing this sort of carb cycling approach. As I lean out, since I started my last training block, the heavier volume training block. So what it looks like is I have this high carb split on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday when I do resistance training sessions. And then I've got a low carb split on the other days. The calorie difference between them is a 10% deficit to a 25% deficit. I need more data on my body weight to really know if those estimations are correct, but that's what it looks like right now. You can see here the difference between day one and day eight. I just, when I wake up in the morning, I take a progress picture so I can see the changes. Sleeps better, recovery's better. With the additional carbohydrates on these training days, I feel really good. Um, <clears throat> previous to the cycling approach, I was just holding a deficit consistently in the week, just the same calories every day. So uh, it's, it's paying off. Looking forward to how it progresses in the future. But that's a day of eating for me. Hope you enjoyed. Send me any questions you have via the comments section. Like, subscribe, hang out. Love to have you here, and I'll work on producing more valuable content for you guys as time goes on. Um, so right now, just continue documenting the journey to my first strongman comp in the Spartan Trifecta in the same calendar year. Full strength father shall continue, and we shall obtain victory.